Hey guys, it's me Adriana and welcome back to another YouTube video. So today's video, I'm going to be reacting to episode 4 of Marvel Studios' Moon Knight. So last, where we left off, Khonshu, which is the god that is, I guess, possessing of, I don't know if that's the word, um, Steve slash Mark, got vanished or turned into like this stone statue because he tried to manipulate the sky in order to, for like Layla and Mark slash Steve. I'm trying to get this constellation um, to find, um, if I'm not mistaken, a way to find the tomb that they're looking for. Now, since Khonshu has been turned into this stone statue, I'm guessing that Mark and Steve don't have their powers anymore. I don't know. We're gonna find out in this episode. Also, before, after we watch this episode and I offer my commentary, I will be giving my thoughts on the Thor Love and Thunder trailer, which came out two days ago, and I loved, so please stay tuned for that. Also, there's construction going on outside, so I'm really sorry about that. Oh my god. Give me the body right now. This is a suicide. I'll find out. You'd want to know about this whole thing. Steven it's going AWOL. Okay. Okay, these visuals are really pretty. Are you in love with my wife? I appreciate you, mate. I really do. Do they want Thunder on Thunder? Yeah. Being honest. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> you don't like her. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> Six. Hide. Hide. What is that? Oh my god. Ew. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tell me she's hanging on. Oh my god. Lost the tomb of Alexander the Great. I'm Mr. Great. I'm Mr. Great. <laughs> He went into the light, he's gone. No, but I'm just about to do my best. You're Dr. Stephen Grant. <gasps> I be so What? Now let's see what we I am so confused right now. You heard? Didn't you say that you, you worked for one? What do you make out of that similarity? I mean given the Production value of that view is an honest assessment of your situation. What is going on here? Um, 
It's the last thing that you remember. There's a third Oscar Isaac. <laughs> Okay, so currently the fan is on in my bathroom, so I'm sorry for the sound. But what? <laughs> what was this ending? Obviously he was shot, and he got two shots, like in the chest. So it's like, you can die from that. I don't know what place they could be. Is it, are they in like some sort of um, purgatory or where they didn't, he didn't die and he was like taken to like some facility or I honestly don't know where he is. I have zero idea, zero theories. This is just crazy. It's insane. And um, I can't wait till next week to see what the heck is gonna happen because I have no idea. Obviously, um, you know, whatever happened to Lila too, and whatever that hippo is, I have no idea, zero clue. But I think this is my favorite episode so far. Like, we, like the show has progressively, like, at least for me, because at first I didn't really connect with the show, but now um, I kind of have, like, I've been, I've been enjoying the episodes as they are like coming out and so far this is my favorite out of all four episodes um so i'm really excited to see what's about to come next i feel like things definitely got more interesting okay so now i'm going to share with you my thoughts on the thor love and thunder trailer um so the trailer came out while i was at the library finishing off a assignment that i had to turn in so that's the reason why I couldn't record a reaction to the trailer because I was in school and I was, you know, I watched it, I couldn't wait, so I just had to just watch it. <laughs> um, I loved it. It was so, like, the 80s vibes. Obviously, we better have an 80s workout montage in there because if they're playing Sweet Child of Mine and, and um, you know, having him, like, work out with the chains and stuff we better have thor have a 80s style workout like if it were like to the theme of like a jane fonda workout video it'd be so <laughs> funny um i'm very excited to see the mighty thor which is jane foster um i want to see how her story took her to where she is at the end of that trailer like how she became worthy was she always worthy um what happened like where was she, where was she in the past i don't know how many years since the last time we saw her um what else like the guardians all look amazing like you know i just hope they find gamora i miss gamora um she's one of my favorites um and you can tell that thor has created this or has like found a love for the guardians as if as if they were kind of their family so i don't know i just i'm very excited to see what's gonna happen next what else do i want to say this trailer was just awesome like the visuals were beautiful um king king valkyrie showing up we got korg um we have we had like a little glimpse of russell crowe as Zeus. so hopefully in the next tv spots and like future trailers we get to see a little bit more of his face and like Zeus in general because this is very it's very cool Zeus is like in Greek mythology he's like the father of like I guess many many gods and like warriors so I'm very excited to see if after him they're going to be introducing other gods like Zeus or his children or something so I'm very excited to see that as well but yeah that's my initial reaction to Moon Knight episode 4 and Thor Love and Thunder trailer. 
Um, my immediate reactions are on my Twitter, so if you want to see how I reacted when the trailer came out, you can definitely go check that out. Um, so if you like this video, make sure you hit the like to, and make sure to subscribe to get more of my videos and hit the bell icon to get notified every single time I post a video. Um, remember to follow me on social media. My social media will be here on the screen or um, in the description below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!